I have this memory. It's the eve of my eighth birthday. Dad is still in D.C., tending to urgent matters in the Senate. That night, as a surprise, Mom to told me, Bo, and Hunter to get in the car. I remember pulling up to the Wilmington Amtrak station, riding up the escalator to the platform. The train stops, doors open, and Dad steps out. As soon as I saw him, I run down that platform and jump into his arms. Like magic, Mom brought out a cake, they sang happy birthday, and I blew out the candles. Dad hugged me, and he said that he had to get back to work. He crossed to the southbound train, and off he went to D.C. That was a snapshot of one moment, of one day, on this extraordinary journey of being Joe Biden's daughter. Joe Biden is the OG girl dad. He told me I could be anything and I could do anything. As a child, I would sit on the leather chair in his office doing my homework, and he would sit next to me doing his work, drafting the Violence Against Women Act. And he wasn't just a girl dad. I could see, and he wasn't just a girl dad, I could see that he valued and trusted women. How he listened to his mother, how he believed in his sister, and most of all, how he respected my mother's career. Dad was always there doing everything he could to be a true partner to her. Dad, you always tell us, but we don't tell you enough, that you are the love of our lives and the life of our love. I had my wedding reception in my parents' backyard. At the time, my dad was vice president. But he was also that dad who literally set up the entire reception. He was riding around in his John Deere four-wheeler, fixing the place settings, arranging the plants. And by the way, he was very emotional. I thought that I would be a mess, but he was the one crying. And I was the one who had to comfort him. Before he walked me down the aisle, he turned to me and said that he would always be my best friend. All these years later, Dad, you are still my best friend. His example in service inspired my career. I'm a social worker in Philadelphia. I support formerly incarcerated women as they heal from past trauma and they reclaim their lives. Dad always told me that I was no better than anybody else and nobody was better than me. He taught me that everyone deserves a fair shot and that we shouldn't leave anyone behind. That's what you learn from a fighter who has been underestimated his entire life. When I look at Dad, I see grace, strength, and humility. I see one of the most consequential leaders ever in history. And I also know that he never stops thinking about you, about your dreams, about your dignity, about your opportunities, about your family. Dad knows that family is everything. 
When Hunter and I lost our brother Bo to cancer in 2015, the grief and the pain felt like it might never end. Dad had the capacity to step out of his own pain and absorb ours. And I know that Bo is here with us tonight as he is always with us. After Bo passed, I got this tattoo on my wrist. It says, Courage, Dear Heart. A reminder to myself to keep going, to get back up, like my dad has always done. He has taught me that a courageous heart is a miraculous thing. A courageous heart can heal a family. A courageous heart can heal a nation, and maybe, even the world. And now, this election requires the courageous hearts of all of us. In 2020, my dad selected Kamala Harris to beat Donald Trump. And he knows in 2024, she will beat Donald Trump again. So tonight, I am asking you, if you stood with us in 2020, call upon your courageous heart. Stand with us today. Work harder than you have ever worked before in your life. This is the fight of our lifetime. Our freedom, our democracy, our reproductive rights. All of this, all of it, is on the ballot. And I know together we can do this because my dad helped show us the way. And now I would like to introduce my father, your 46th President of the United States, Joe Biden. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.